Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do we have here is a fri- микрофон работает. Да, заново. Mm-hmm. What do we have here is a fringe drain. Ты же не смотришь сюда, миленький. Ты в камеру посмотри. What do we have here? So, we have a problem. We have mold in the house. So I've ran a fringe drain, which is basically uh, a trench. Yeah, yeah, but this big was a drainex pipe which allows the water to come in and it's surrounded by gravel and it's got cloth, cloth, cloth and covered with cloth. So the water, any excess water that gathers in the soil finds its way to this gravel trench with cloth and pulls into the middle and via a pipe gets taken away, which is what I've done. But because we've, using permaculture, have raised our garden by, you know, <laughs> you can see, here is the old drainage pipe. I need to run from that pipe, I need to run, I can't carry on running it there because the garden is too high. So I need to run it to this drum. A drum is going to be filled with big uh, stones. On the outside, we're going to cover it with the cloth and we're going to put gravel in between the edges of the wall and the drum. And I'm going to drill lots of holes in the drum to allow for excess water to escape and get out. So it's going to be like a loose, between the stones there's big air pockets. So any water finds its way here from the drainage pipes will easily be drained into the drum and through the holes get out. So I just want to show you one or two holes. Oh. The water that you see here is coming from under the ground. It's coming up. The ground water is quite high. But I'm going to drill the holes higher than that and allow the water to percolate into the soil. Mm-hmm. So I've got this thing for the wood. I've sharpened it myself now. And uh, here we go. That's how we're going to drill holes, lots of holes, and we're going to cover it with cloth. So what does the cloth do? Here and in the drum, around the drum. The cloth, which is a geotextile, allows the soil not to go into the gravel, keeping the gravel clean in order for air pockets, which are formed in between all the surfaces of the gravel. And these air pockets create an area of less resistance because this is high density, yeah? The water finds its way from here into the gravel and there's in the middle is a drain X pipe. It's a French drain, a typical French drain. But now I'm going to divert French drain excess water to an air cavity underground. And this is what I'm basically doing. Because I'm going to have big rocks there, there's going to be big air spaces. So everywhere else is high density, um, you know, compacted earth. And suddenly water finds its way to an air pocket. It gets into the drum. Quick. And that's what's going to happen. We're going to be pulling the water away from the house. And thus, I'm hoping to solve the mold problem. I found a way to do holes much quicker. Ta-da! The drum is ready and protected and now we're ready to put it inside so it can drain the water out away from the house. There she is. Okay, so there's my drum with the pipe and now I just need to make a little cut. So to make a cut I need to plan 
where that needs to go and obviously the pipe gets fitted to this line yeah same there I'll overlap them where it would be cut and then there we go So I pushed it with my foot up because when the pipe is closing in on itself, the saw doesn't want to move up and down. See, I'm just pushing it up, opening the crack, and then it goes through. So the next challenge is, for this, I need to remove this pipe. So I need to cut that away. That, that used to go to that part of the garden, but as I said, the garden is lifted up. So that's just blocked now. So if it's blocked there, the water backs up and the house starts to become moldy. It's not good. The French drain must drain the water away from where you need it drained. That's why this is the place to go. Yeah, it's moist, so it's definitely some moisture is coming through. But I'd like to run some water in there, just jet some water through and actually just clean out because you see the stuff, I suppose it's always going to build up. But that's a little bit of soil that comes through this cloth. If you didn't have the cloth, that pipe would be blocked. So as you can see, this is moist, moist. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna blast it through, but basically just to Gonna go something like this. I just need to clean up this edge here and then we'll get it through. Yeah, bit by bit, one step at a time. <gasps> so what we have here is I've inserted the elbow to divert the French drain. It's a 22 and a half degrees. You also get a little. Uh, 11.25 degrees you get difference you can do like a Lego you could do anything and here it's running into my tank which I filled up with bricks but I see the ground water is almost at the level of my hole so I need to do higher holes so the ground water is pretty high so ideally next time I do this I'd run this to the lowest part of my property but I, right now I just don't have the ability even to do that so I'm hoping it's because I'm draining my pool that's the and because of thousands of liters are going out because I've got a crack and that that pool water is filling up um, I can show the pool we're draining um, but yeah so I'll just need to drill a couple of extra holes higher at the high level here so the water can drain out but so i'm re recycling this but it's already glued on so i'm just gonna drill some holes in it yeah so just gonna drill some holes in it so so just to explain to you how i see this I'm going to fill the rest with gravel, stones. I'm going to have a, a, a plastic here on top of the gravel and then some more shade cloth to protect. Or maybe shade cloth, plastic shade cloth, so no soil gets in here. 
I don't want any soil here. I want the loose big spaces between the stones. And then I'm going to just cover it up and it'll be like a, a pocket of air that the water can drain to. But as I'm realizing, half of my pocket of air is full of water, <laughs> which is not good. Uh, yeah, uh, groundwater. Very important to research that before you buy your property. How high is your groundwater? How high you can do the well? Uh, what foundations you need to do? Because uh, if you have water, just, you know, it's a good thing and then it's a bad thing. Good thing that you can dig a hole and suck water constantly out of a hole. The bad thing is if you dig, do an underground house like all the preppers want to do, um, you, you, you'll be forever in mold and water. So here's the gravel on the outside. Yeah, and I'm going to put clean gravel inside and then I'll put the cloth and plastic so it's all covered. So that's the French drain and obviously just about here the black part pipe starts which is the perforated pipe, pipe which I changed over to the white pipe yeah the perforated pipe allows all the water with the French drain to come in and it's in the gravel in the cloth and then the water is draining so I'll just blast that pipe out to clean out all the soil and we should have the water draining out to this lowest point <laughs> providing there is no no water higher than this pipe okay so here's the rockery entrance not to block that up yeah otherwise the last thing you want to do is just close that up with plastic then the whole job stops and now when we pour the gravel we must be very careful but I'm gonna put the cloth first yeah so that doesn't that gravel doesn't block up the hole okay so what we have is we've got the rock entrance I've got it covered and we're gonna just do this gently yeah, so slowly put it. Yeah. Put, put, put. Put. Oh, no, no, all of it. Right here on my hand. So now it's going to have a layer of plastic, and then I'm going to put that clay first, and then topsoil after. You always put topsoil on top. Don't mix the two. Otherwise, you cannot plant in clay. But you can plant in topsoil. To be honest with you, although I've tried everything with regards to trench drain, but if the rooms are built too low, then that's it. It's stuffed. Mold galore. 3D. So basically this is the final conclusion that this house is going to be given to the bank. We tried everything. And this is just in three weeks while we're on a farm. And it's highly toxic. Yeah, it's coming up. The rooms are just too low. French drain is French drain, but the rooms are built too low. You'll just uh, you'll just you'll keep on fighting it, and it's a never losing battle. Or however it spoke. Look at that. Now it's stuffed up. It's a perfect sign for me to give the house to the bank and not a like We can't sell it. We, it's, it's impossible to sell a house with this problem. Um, yeah, if I'm to do it again, if I would just do one recommendation of. Uh, how would I fix it? You see the wall that I've built there? Before I build the wall, I should have had the French drain diverting away from the house, down, down to the lowest point. And I didn't do that, and that's why I had to do these little, let's call them little kidneys, little drums that I've shown you in this lesson. And they would have worked, but it seems like the water level in my whole property is just too high because I've been building a lot of terraces over time and terraces uh, make the water sink and I've actually increased my water table level which is great for growing but as you can see in my house it's over <laughs> truly over it's finished so I've shown you all the permaculture systems or this particular permaculture system of French drain and diverting the water away 
Um, I've tried. It would have worked if the water table wasn't so high. Um, and the damp proofing plastic before they build the walls. They probably didn't put it in because the water is just wicking up the walls. The bricks are just sucking it up and it's traveling. So the only thing you can do with a room like this is cover it 70 centimeters with gravel up and um, lift your floor by at least a meter high. And that's the only thing they can do. So anyway, um, we're moving to Russia. <laughs> we're packing our stuff. We're handing the house to the bank and getting out of here, man. Getting out to a free land. Freedom and not capitalism. Be well.